Well, hi folks, I'm going to make another one of those lighthouses. I've put a few up over the years, but I've not done one for about for a few years on YouTube, so I will show you how we do it. It's a pot made in three parts, the tall building, then the lighthouse bit with the lighting that I pierce out, and then a roof. So let's see how we get on. So I'll just make the the big pot first, the big piece. So this is going to be like a big tall cylinder, slightly wider at the bottom, tapering to the top. get some of this thick stuff up before I do a knuckle lift. Someone's just come in the shop which will probably I mean we'll be interrupted. So I'll just colour it up. Slow it down a bit. at the top so it's slowly getting narrower towards the top find my needle just tidy this bit up Bend this over at the top, get the top something to sit on. So now I'm going to throw a little pot to make the sort of top that was just a little bit narrower than this one. So this is just going to be the, the top where the lighthouse light would be, which I'm going to pierce or carve out to give, make it look like it's got windows. So I need 
this to be quite thin so it can be pierced. It's nothing fancy, just a dead straight sided pot. Top, which will fit into that. I'm just checking myself, that will fit in the top. So, the last bit I'm going to be throwing is the roof. Which I'm just going to put on top of the house. So, again, this is just going to be a dead simple flat lid. So, I'm going to centre it flat ish. And then, what, what I want is to make a, like, a little spike on the top, like a lid knob. So I'm going to push in about half an inch away from the centre, inwards and downwards, which will make a piece of clay pop up in the middle. I want to sort of form this into a, a tallish point. So I'm just going to, probably a bit far away, so I'm just going to like squidge it up like that. Can't see. I'll try and get that mound out of the way. And I'll just put a little knob on the top so you can give you something to grab hold of to lift the lid off. So that's that. Far too wide than it needs to be, but I can trim that down dead easily tomorrow. So that's the three pieces done. And I'll show you tomorrow how we put them all together and carve it and stick them all together. But anyway, that's the throwing bit done. Well, I thought I'm going to put this lighthouse together now. I've kept a bag on the top to try and keep the top quite moist because when you're sticking the, this part onto it, that's quite wet. So if that's dry and that's wet, when they dry out, that'll shrink and come off. So if you try and keep them at the same sort of moisture level. So I'll just turn this a little bit, just to get a few little grooves in it. Oh, find me stuff, just try and trim a few of these throwing lines out. the top up as well, I'm not going to stick it together yet, I'm going to just, with that tool, uh, just rough it up, and it gives the, the pot something to key to, sorry, I've just got to put a little bit of colour on, a bit of cobalt. That's that bit trimmed, I'm not cutting it off. I'll just do the little house before I cut the windows out. I'm just gonna put a little couple of little lines in with my fingernail to give me a guide as where as of where to cut the holes out, just the height, the bottom and the top. So that's that bit and then I'll just, for now I'll just cut the, trim the roof down to size, just do it by eye. I think that'll be big enough, or small enough. 
again, just another little bit of colour on. And cut that bit off. I'll show you how that fits on there. So that's going to be the roof. <laughs> so now what we'll do, I'll, I'll pierce the I'll pierce this out. So I'll just move my camera and we'll get on with that. So what I'm going to do now is cut some windows out using my little hacksaw blade tool there. I'm just going to do simple triangles. I don't know how well you'll see it, but I'll try and do my best. So I'm just going to cut some simple triangle shapes out. Like so. And then I'll fill it in between with ones going the other way up. I need to put my stronger glasses on. Being this up close. I'm not measuring anything out, I'm just going to sort of keep going all the way around and when I get close to matching up I'm just trying Hopefully and jiggle it so they match up the spacings. So I'm just continuing around. So I reckon I can get what. Another two in there. So that's the gap. So I'll just split the difference. It's necessary to get your clay sort of the right consistency for this. It's what we call leather hard. So it's Still quite bendy, but it, if you bend it, it will snap. So it's you get the you get the hang of it once you know. Anyway, that's the first row done. They're all evenly spaced. So I'll just do the bits in between. Ugh. Do whatever shape you like, really, windows. This seems to sort of work alright. So we've got two more to do. The last one. So you don't want to mess it up. So that's that bit cut out. So now I'll just cut that off and that find me wire and then we'll stick it together and show you what it looks like when it's finished. So I'll just take this over and we'll stick it all together. Right then, so the first thing to do is get plenty of slip on. Just to slip out of my wheel. But I've roughed it up at the top to give it something to key to. There's plenty of slip on that. Now it's a matter of trying to plonk this in, in the right in the middle. It'll take a few goes. Can be a bit annoying. Central, but 
you can't really tell once it's stopped. So what I'll do now, I'll just try and, it's probably going to go out of shot, I'll just push it down, I've just got a piece of wood, onto the pot to help it bond, help it all stick together. And then also, I'm going to cut a hole through from there to the inside so it's not airtight, so it doesn't explode in the kiln. And we'll just have a little, just see what it looks like. Like I said, you're never going to get it 100% straight. So what I'll do, using this, is I'll just squash a bit of clay and slip together around the joint just to give it even more chance of sealing well. And then we'll just straighten up these, these bands. And then finally, we'll put the roof on and then that will be it, finished. It's probably going to be out of shot now. I'll just get the camera anyway. So that's it folks, that's my lighthouse done. We'll just turn the camera around. That's the lighthouse. You can put a candle in the top. Do any shape sort of windows you like. But it's not too tricky, the only tricky part is really doing the piercing. So anyway, there we go folks. Just a bit of a, a lighthouse.